I served my mission in the Bible Belt. In that area of Florida and Alabama, a lot of people believed in the Trinity. That is that God the Father, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost are the same person. That he's able to manifest himself in different ways, but that all three are one person, the same. And I had a lot of people ask questions about that. And in particular, I had an experience with a person who called and asked all these questions. And I was able to study from the Book of Mormon and pray and gain insight and knowledge that helped answer those questions. And it really built my testimony that as we go to the Lord with sincere desires to know truth, whether they're our questions or whether they're questions that others have brought up, the Lord will pour out knowledge to us. He will fill our minds and our souls with truth and answers to questions in ways we never thought possible. So I really had this sacred experience of pouring in all this effort to study the scriptures, to search by topics, to read conference talks, to spend time in prayer, to really have conversations with God and ask him in particular about the different divine roles of each member of the Godhead. And this really cool image and just answer came into my mind about how the physical bodies of each member of the Godhead coincides with their unique purpose in mission that they have. So while they're all one in purpose and one in mission to bring about the immortality and eternal life of man, they all could not have the same role because of the different needs of um, their bodies. So let me explain what I mean by that. God the Father he created us as his spirit children. He already has a perfected immortal body. That means when he sends us down to earth, he literally cannot die for us because his body that has been perfected is incapable of death. And so he needed his son, Jesus Christ, his begotten son, um, who was a spirit to send down, send him down to gain a mortal body that could then physically die for us to complete the process of the atonement and to satisfy the demands of justice so that he could extend mercy. And so Heavenly Father literally needed Jesus Christ to help fulfill his mission of saving all of his children. And so Jesus Christ, while starting out as a spirit, gained a body and afterwards was able to gain a perfected and complete and whole body just like the Father. And then we learned from that um, the path that we follow as we gain these bodies and as we strive to follow the example of Jesus Christ so that we can become perfected and have immortal bodies and become like the Father. Well, the Holy Ghost, it talks about how he has a body of just spirit because if he had flesh and bone, then he could not dwell in each of us. And so part of being able to be everywhere and see everything and be um, in us and with us requires not having a body so that he can dwell with us in our bodies. And I'm not sure how the doctrine of that works perfectly. I'm not sure, you know, exactly what the Holy Ghost looks like and um, everything that he does, but I do know that he is a personage of spirit, that he is able to dwell with us and be with us all of the time as long as we're worthy and um, of his presence. And so that is a role that Jesus Christ and Heavenly Father cannot have with their bodies. And they can for sure be with us and hear us, um, but how we can feel of the Spirit and of their Spirit is through the Holy Ghost and that role that He has by not taking on a body. And so this revelation came to me, um, just this, this thought process, and really strengthened my testimony, not only of the Godhead and their divine role and their unique personages and um, their unique role that they have in helping us come back to our Heavenly Father, but it also strengthened my testimony of the process of God answering prayers. This came over time, over days and weeks of studying and digging into the different members of the Godhead and praying and asking Heavenly Father about their natures and wanting to learn more about them. And I can testify that with any questions that we have, um, any desires for furthering our knowledge, if we put in the effort and the time and are mindful in seeking that and spending effort to do that, Heavenly Father will pour down knowledge through His Spirit into our minds and into our hearts that we will gain a witness that He does talk to us and He does teach us and He wants us to know so much. And I bear that witness in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.